Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all of the students. So, uh, in this class, I will explain briefly about embedded C programming. Uh, so, you can refer to chapter 2 in our textbook. So, what is uh, exactly the uh, difference between C and embedded C programming? So the key difference between C and embedded C is first is C is generally used for desktop computer and while the embedded C is for microcontroller based application. So number two, C can use the resource of desktop PC like memory, operating system and etc. While embedded C has to use limited resources such as RAM, RAM ROM, uh, input output and embed on embedded processor it's depend on uh, embedded processor peripheral embedded C includes extra features uh, overseas such as uh, fi fixed point types IO register mapping and peripheral configuration and then also embedded C requires a compiler to create files to be downloaded to the microcontroller where it, it, it needs to run Okay, uh, so this is uh, actually the embedded C is a simplified and extension of C language and it is used to develop a microcontroller based application. So, f so if you are master in C programming, so uh, this is an advantage for you to learn the embedded C. So, it has some syntax, it has same syntax and semantic. Uh, the big difference only in the I.O. hardware accessing. So in embedded C, you have to write a syntax to access or to manipulate the I.O. Also, embedded C has a fixed point of arithmetic operations and you can access a uh, space like RAM uh, in embedded C. Also, then lastly, you, your embedded C is a fully hardware dependent language and are OS independent. So hardware dependence means the formatting setting depends upon the type of micro C that we use. Okay, these are the basic structure of embedded C. So the embedded C programming is a collection of one or more functions. So every function is a collection of statement that are used to perform some specific tasks. Okay, this figure show the basic uh, structure of C programming. So when we refer to this structure, so we start our program with a uh, header. So for example, in this uh, our tutorial, our, our uh, class, so we use STM32 F103. So we type the header. Header we start with a uh, hashtag include STM32 F10X. So this is a header and then I continue with the declaration of variable and this uh, we declare the variable and then declare the function definition and then we step uh, uh, start with the main programs so this is our main program so then in our main program we have the endless loop while while loop eh? so, uh, to, to running our program Okay, the step for writing embedded C program. So uh, actually, uh, we have a seven step. So step one is comment. So write the comment and then a preprocessor directive. So this is a directive, global variable, and then clock and port configurations, main functions, and then we declare the variable, local variable, and then also the our program, main program here, programming logic. So we go through uh, one by one a uh, little bit about comment. So the comment is uh, important in our programming language and because it describes the, uh, the program, the function of our program. So the comment is not the compulsory. Comments are non-executable -exec code and that is uh, to provide the documentation to the program. This means the, the computer, the, the my controller not running the, the comment is for us as a writer and uh, as a programmer to read the comment. So the comments make uh, our program easy to understand and, 
easy to understand especially when uh, our program is a uh, little bit long and uh, long so we need to understand each function each uh, purpose of this fun the function so there are two type of comment in emergency first is single line comment okay? so we have a single line comment so uh, the single line comment start with the uh, double slash so you double slash and we you can place anywhere in the program so when we use uh, double slash and then we type uh, character here so the computer know that the, okay this is a comment so it's not run the uh, that comment for example configure clock configure a gpio so this is a single line comment so we also can use the multi line comment and multi line comment start with the single slash and asterisk so this is single slash and then asterisk and then close with the uh, asterisk and then single slash for example here eh? so this is a multi line comment so we don't uh, uh, need to comment for each line if we have a few line of comment so we just use the multi line comment And then step two is preprocessor directive. This is the header, what we call the header. And we start with the hash sign. This hash sign. So in our, for example, we use include STM32 and include uh, standard I/O. So this is uh, the preprocessor directive. And then we declare the global variables. So uh, the whatever the variable we declare before the main function, so this is uh, the global variable. And this is global variable. So the the variable we declare before the main function is called the global variable, so that we can access on any function in the program. Okay, for example, we declare uh, integer x is equal to Zero y is equal to zero, and then we have the expression. This is the expression y is equal to one x plus one, plus is the operator. Okay, this is the expressions, and then x and y is the variable. So each variable must be declared, and to indicate the size and the type, and the size and the type of information to be stored plus name. Okay, so this is a variable numeric data type. So we have short. Uh, okay, default, long, float, double, and character. Okay, and then we have a variable variable for constant, and we have integer and floating point. Okay, uh, how to uh, name our variables? So there are some rules here. So the first is variables name may contains letter, digit, and hashtag. Only these three types of uh, Character is mean letter, digit, and uh, underscore, no, hashtag, underscore. Okay. Variable names should start with letter. Okay, we should start with letter, not uh, digit or underscore. And then keyword, uh, for programming keyword, and for while, uh, uh, cannot be used as a variable names. And then variable names are case sensitive. It means if type X, with the, and the capital X is a two different variable and then a space for variable may be allocated in the register RAM or ROM flash for constant if you type a variable with the space so this is okay it's not wrong but it will take uh, some space in our RAM or register okay uh, for example, we declare integer x, y, z. So we declare three variable types of integer. So this character a, b. So we declare two variable type of character a, b. Okay, do some pop quiz. So uh, just answer correct or incorrect. So if write the name for variable integer. So this money, uh, this is symbol dollar, o. So 
is this a correct uh, or incorrect name or variable okay and then we have a total underscore count we have a integer score 2 and then integer second score and then lastly integer long so the fourth for the first one okay for this one is incorrect because we have a symbol dollar here okay integer must contain only letter g and underscore okay cannot contain any other symbol okay so number two is okay it's correct number three is correct and then number four is incorrect because we start with uh, digit so variable should start with letter okay and then last is incorrect because we use the keyword long is the keyword for uh, in our programming okay so you cannot use a keyword okay step number four to uh, configure our clock and port configurations so every microcontroller consists of uh, many port and then each port contains many pins that can be used to control the interfacing device so we need to configure our port and then also we need to configure our clock and our clock for stm32 or other arm based microcontroller so each port has their own clock and each port has their own clock so before we can use all the io port or all the peripherals so we need to activate the clock pin for that uh, io port and then number five is main function so the main function is a is a call for every program and then we have only one main function okay and then declare the local variable and then the last is a, a programming logic lah, main program so we declare the uh, we write the main our main program okay so now we go to uh, the operator we touch a little bit about the operator and our uh, expression in a C programming made a C programming the first we have the arithmetic operator an arithmetic operator so we have addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus modulus which means we take the remainder of the uh, division okay and then we have a relational operation okay, to compare to a prank so for relational we use this to compare and then the result produced in a boolean that is mean a true or false okay this is a greater than greater than equal lesser than lesser than equal so this is equal and then this is not equal okay need, uh, this is important to take note about the operator equal equal we use two symbol uh, equal eh, sama dengan eh, two symbol eh. so we use two and if one is mean is not equal it is uh, the assignment and eh. for example a is equal to uh, three and eh. then a uh, equal to uh, assignment with three that is two different uh, uh, two different operators eh. If we have A is uh, equal to 3, eh? so this is not same as A is equal to 3. Okay, so this is assignment, assignment operator A is equal to 3. This is a logic, uh, relational operator, eh? it's a relational operator, so we use two symbol sama dengan ni n ok ok and then we have a logic operator so this is a logic operator you, you have two n symbol n symbol n so this is a logic operator and then we have a or operator and then we have not operator ok we need to differentiate between logic operator and bitwise operator so we will go through 
the bit wise operator after this and so logic operator is uh, the uh, the symbol is 2 to n to o so this mean this uh, logic operator for example you have uh, one condition and then you have another condition you n so this you use the uh, logic operator And then you have uh, the increment and decrement operators. Okay, this uh, x plus plus is shortcut for x is equal to x plus one. And then we have x minus. Uh, this is not underscore. This is a minus. So x is equal to x minus one. And then we have assignment operators. X equal to x plus one. X plus. This is a short form for x equal to x plus one and one. Okay, this is a bitwise operator. Okay, bit, for bitwise operator, you only use uh, one symbol here, one symbol n. This means this is bitwise operator n, this is bitwise operator o, so this is bitwise operator x o, and then this is bitwise left shift, this is bitwise right shift. Okay, we will uh, explain uh, more on big swipes operator in the another video and because it is uh, quite uh, uh, long so complicated and uh, quite related so we need uh, uh, I will do another video to, to explain about the big wise operator okay that's all for this class embedded C operate uh, uh, embedded C programming so see you again thank you